Hello and welcome to this video on the Meta Study Module. Today we will go over what the Meta Study Module is, an overview of the data access process, and we will conclude with demonstrations on Meta Study creation, sending data to Meta Study, uploading associated files to a Meta Study, creating a Meta Study with external data, and publishing a Meta Study. The BRICS Meta Study Module is a flexible data store allowing for management and storage of primary and secondary data from research studies. Each meta study is assigned a unique persistent identifier known as a digital object identifier, or a DOI, to support data discovery and provides permission based access to datasets and metadata that coexist within the module. With the NIH Data Management and Sharing Policy coming into effect January 25th of 2023, utilization of the BRICS meta study module aligns with NIH's mandate to use a quality data repository that improves the fairness of the data. Fairness is defined by how findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable the data is. The two main use cases for the BRICS Meta Study Module are as follows. The Meta Analysis, which facilitates aggregation of data from different studies within the BRICS Repository Module, and it accommodates uploads of data external to BRICS to be included in Meta Analysis. The second main use case is the Data Store which facilitates storage of data from studies that do not have requirements to upload data to the BRICS repository module, and it supports NIH data management and sharing policy. Note that data will not be validated or stored in the data repository, nor is it queryable. Here is a diagram of the data access process. If your funding provides support for accessing and analyzing data, you will first need to create an account and specifically request data access privileges. See our video on account requests for more detailed information on the data access request process. Once you have been granted data access, you can now search through the data repository using the query tool. Please watch our videos on the use of the query tool in order to learn how to aggregate and filter data. The next step is to create a meta study so that you can begin to store your queries and datasets as well as upload any additional results, files, and or documentation pertinent to your study. In this demonstration, I will show you how to create a meta study. Afterwards, I will send filtered data to the meta study from the query tool and upload additional associated files to that meta study. I will show how to create a meta study for external data and how to upload external data to that meta study. Afterwards, I will publish the meta study and create a DOI so that it can be referenced in publications. When uploading documents or data, there are file size limits as well as a list of available file types. Please contact your ops member to know the maximum uploadable file size and see the footnote on the bottom of the slide for the list of uploadable file types. Now log into your BRICS instance and click on the meta study module, then click create a meta study. Now let's fill out all the required fields. Click the next button. Here you can upload any documentation that is pertinent to your study's protocol or analysis. And then here you can upload associated files or saved queries. We will be doing these steps later. Add any keywords you'd like associated with your study. Review your inputted information and click Create and Finish when you are done. If you need to edit any details after creating your meta study, you can click the Edit button here. Now let's add filtered data to our meta study through the Query tool. For this demo, I will add some studies from the Glasgow Coma Scale, or the GCS form, in our BRICS instance. After selecting your studies, you can navigate to Step 2, Refine Data tab. Here, we'll be joining the three different studies, and after loading the GCS form data into the data table view, you can further modify by selecting which data elements to display in the Select Criteria tab, or by adding filters to specific data elements and clicking Run Query. Here, let's add a filter for the age of 30 to 50 years old. Once you've added the filters and finalized your query logic, click Run Query. You can also automatically hide any columns that do not contain any data and choose to display permissible values, permissible value descriptions, or output codes. 
Now we can use the download option in the upper right hand corner of the data table to upload our filtered data and or query to our meta study. Select your meta study that you would like to send the data and or query to and provide a helpful description. If you are sending large data sets such as imaging MR data set containing many large DICOM files, give the system some time to complete the process. Now let's navigate to our meta study to verify that the query and the data files have successfully been sent to the data table in our meta study. Now let's add additional associated files to our meta study. You can click on the edit button and then scroll down to the documents and data table. Select the file you wish to upload. Enter information about the file type and a description. Now we have successfully created a meta study and added data from the query tool as well as added associated files. Now let's go ahead and create another meta study that we'll upload external data to. Since we created a meta study earlier, we'll fast forward through the steps this time. The steps to upload external data will be the same steps we went through earlier when we uploaded associated files to our GCS meta study. However, this time, this data is not associated with any BRIC study and is external data only. Click the edit button and add the external documentation and or data files you wish to add. Once we have finalized all analysis and included any necessary documentation and resources for study reproducibility, we can request the meta study to be published. Then we can create a DOI that you can reference in your publications. This concludes the video on meta study. Please contact your operations team if you have any further questions. And thanks for watching.